hello 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 everyone hello guys how are you on today guess what time it is it is story time with miss doris i'm so so excited i have an awesome story for us on today today is wednesday and on wednesdays we read a christian story i know we've been reading christmas books so we're going to be reading christmas story try the whole month of december but today it's wednesday and on wednesday we read a christian story but before we get started with that story i'd like to greet everyone all over the world, I like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Shout out to all of you out there in story time. Shout out to all of those of you that are celebrating a birthday on today. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're having an awesome awesome day for your birthday on today jasmine's jewel hello to you how are you on today welcome to live story time reading with miss doris hello miss carol Wynn. how are you on today and hello brother frank Oden. how are you on today hello to all of our new followers that started following story time i'm so excited to be reading to you your first live story time on today let's go ahead on and get started with our story let's go ahead and get started with our story today's story is going to be coming out of our children's bible our children's bible and today's story we're going to be reading is good news from the angel gabriel it's going to be coming out of the book of the bible luke chapter 1 verses 5 through 25 so go ahead on and have a seat grab a snack eat your lunch or your dinner while Miss Doris reads you a story. Good news from the angel Gabriel, Luke 1, 5 through 25. When Herod the Great was king of the land called Judea, they lived, there lived an old man by the name of Zechariah. His wife was Elizabeth. They had no children. Zechariah and Elizabeth were good, good people. They tried hard to obey the laws of the Lord God. God saw this, and he was pleased with them. One day, Zechariah was in the Lord's temple. He was serving as a priest on that day. Suddenly, the angel from the Lord came down and stood near him. Zechariah didn't know what to do. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I am Gabriel, God's servant, and I was sent to tell you good news. The Herald, Herald the Great, Herald became the king of Judea, Galilee, Samaria, and the area east of the Jordan River, the temple. The temple was the most important place of worship for the Jews and the biggest building in Jerusalem. It was 15 stories high and made of cream color stone and decorated in gold. Zechariah and Elizabeth, and here's the angel that came to visit Zechariah. Your wife, Elizabeth, is going to have a son. You will call him John. He will be a great servant to God. Because of him, people who do not obey God will change their lives. John will get people ready for the Lord. Zechariah was amazed, but my wife and I are both very, very old. He said, how will I know this is going to happen? The angel answered, you do not believe and so you will not be able to say anything until the child is born when zechariah left the temple he could not speak a word when he wanted to say something he had to write it on a writing tablet soon elizabeth discovered she was expecting a baby just as the angel had promised, she was amazed and happy. Writing tablet. The writing tablet is a writing tablet 
was a slab of wood coated in wax. People wrote on them using a pointed stylus. The other end of the stylus was flat and was used for erasing. The end. That was an awesome, awesome short Christian story in which we read you on today. Good news from the angel Gabriel came from Luke out of our chapter out of our book of the Bible, chapter 1, verses 5 through 35. This was an awesome story. So, God sent an angel to visit Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth. They were very, very um, up in age, but guess what? They had no children, and they wanted to have children. So, God blessed them. God sent an angel to let Zechariah know that they are going to have a son and which they would have that son his name will be called john and john would be the one to compel the people to come to god and to believe in the word of god so guess what zacharias didn't believe it so he had lost his voice he couldn't speak for a while so everything he had to say he had to write it down on a tablet so he didn't believe so I guess once he had his son, once they had the baby, then it all would have come to pass and all would have fallen in place because he did not believe the good news. So God, when God give you a message or give you some good news, just believe and have faith that it shall come to pass. So whatever you're believing in <clears throat> unto there, whatever you're asking God for, whatever that special blessing is, just make sure that you're believing in that you have faith. It will come to pass. God bless you guys. I enjoyed reading you a live short story on today. Story time with Miss Doris. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome, blessed day. See you on tomorrow. Take care. God bless you.